Hi guys, welcome to Valley to Vault. It's a pleasure having you today. Right now, as you're watching this, artificial intelligence agents are trading crypto without any human intervention. They're analyzing markets, making decisions, executing trades, and making profits. And nobody, not the EU, not tax authorities, not even the exchanges knows how to regulate this. This isn't some distant future. This is happening today, right now, and it's about to explode. Welcome to the era where your trading competition is in other humans it's AI that never sleeps, never panics, and trades at the speed of light. Let me show you what's already live. We've got Virtual's protocol, which has AI agents trading autonomously on base chain. There's AI160 by SHA, where AI agents manage entire crypto portfolios. These aren't just analysis tools. In multiple projects, the AI doesn't just analyze it acts. Here's how it works. You give an AI agent access to a wallet. You set the parameters, risk tolerance, investment goals, whatever you want. And then the AI just goes. It reads news in real time. It analyzes on-chain data. It monitors social sentiment. It executes trades 24 7 And they're good. Some of these AI agents are consistently outperforming human traders. Why? Because they don't get emotional. They don't revenge trade. They don't FOMO into pumps or panic sell during dumps. They operate on pure, cold logic and data. But here's where it gets really interesting. The regulatory nightmare. The EU spent years building massive regulatory frameworks like MIC and DACA to track and regulate human traders. The goal is to have every transaction reported, every person identified, and every bit of tax calculated. But what happens when the trader isn't human? If an AI agent makes 100,000 euros in profit, who pays the tax on that? The person who deployed it? The company that built the AI? The AI itself? Nobody has a clear answer yet. It's a massive legal gray area. DAC8 requires reporting the beneficial owners of crypto transactions. But if an AI is making truly autonomous decisions, is the owner really in control? How can you even prove you didn't personally make those trades when the tax man comes knocking? Imagine a tax form asking you to list all the trades your AI made that you weren't even aware of at the time. It's an impossible situation. And here's the truly mind-bending part. Some AI agents are now being given DAO governance tokens. They are literally voting on protocol changes. They're participating in DEFI governance. Are they? Stakeholders. Can an AI be a member of a community? So let's talk about where this goes. Because there are wildly different futures depending on how Europe decides to handle this. First. There's scenario one, the crackdown. Europe could ban autonomous AI trading entirely. You could use AI for analysis, but the final execution must be human approved. Every trade would need a human signature. The upside, regulatory clarity and human accountability. The downside, European traders would get left behind while traders in America and Asia use fully autonomous AI. To dominate the markets, innovation would flee Europe. Then there's scenario two, the adaptation. This future, Europe creates a new framework, AI agent licenses. If you want to deploy an autonomous trading AI, you register it, it gets its own tax ID, and you, the owner, are legally responsible for its actions. This is actually possible. Some legal experts are already drafting frameworks for this. The AI would essentially be treated like a corporation, a separate legal entity that can act, but with a human ultimately responsible. Finally, scenario three, the Wild West. This is where Europe does nothing. The technology simply moves too fast for regulation to keep up. AI agents trade freely. Some people make millions. Others get scammed by malicious AI. It's chaos, but it's profitable chaos. Honestly, this is the most likely scenario for the next couple of years. By the time regulators figure out what to do, there might be millions of AI agents already operating in the wild. All right, so what do you actually do with this information? How do you position yourself now? First, get familiar with AI agent platforms right now. Start exploring projects like Virtual's Protocol, AI16C, and Autog for crypto. You don't necessarily need to deploy an agent with real money yet. But you must understand how they work. Because when these tools become mainstream and they will, the people who understood them early will have a massive, massive edge. Second, track the regulatory signals. Watch what the European Securities and Markets Authority, or ESMA, says about algorithmic trading, watch for any mentions of AI in new financial services regulation. The rules are literally being written as we speak. Third, consider the hybrid approach. 
Use AI for powerful analysis and strategy development, but keep human control over the final execution at least until the legal framework is clear. This keeps you compliant with current rules while allowing you to build your understanding of AI's capabilities, and fourth, think about geographic arbitrage. Some jurisdictions will embrace AI agents faster than others. Places like Switzerland, the UAE, and Singapore are already positioning themselves as hubs for AI and crypto. If you're serious about this, you might need to consider where you're operating from. The EU is a big question mark right now. Here's what I think is going to happen. By 2027, a significant portion of all crypto trading volume will be AI-driven. Not just analysis tools that humans use, but fully autonomous agents. The question isn't if this happens, it's whether Europe will lead it, follow it, or try to stop it. And here's a controversial take. Maybe AI agents should trade autonomously. Maybe they're just better at it than we are. Maybe the future of investing isn't about human. Skill it is about human judgment in choosing which AI to trust. Think about it. We already trust algorithms with our Google searches, our social media feeds, our music recommendations. Why not our investments? But that requires trust. Trust in the code, trust in the developers, and trust in the system. And right now, we're in the Wild West phase where that trust has not been established yet. So here is what I want to know from you. Would you let an AI trade your crypto autonomously? How much would you trust it with 100 euros? 10,000? Your entire portfolio? And do you think Europe will embrace this revolution or try to ban it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on AI agent developments as they happen, make sure you subscribe because this space is moving incredibly fast. The future of crypto might not be human at all. And that future is already here. Thank you for watching the video today. Please do subscribe and click on that bell icon to get notifications. And please ensure to share our videos. And we always look forward to having you here. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day.